This is question 13 from a series of, paper, series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Here we're told that the diagram shows a solid hemisphere of radius 5 centimetres. We're asked to find the total surface area of the solid hemisphere and we're asked to give your answer in terms of pi. They've rather helpfully given us the surface area of a sphere formula up the top um, and that will help us even though we've got a hemisphere. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to work out what the surface area of this entire sphere would be. Okay, and we're going to do that by substituting in the radius of the sphere, which is 5 centimetres. So what we're going to say is that our surface area of the entire sphere would be 4 multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius squared, which is 5. So 5 squared. Um, so what that gives us, if we were to simplify this, we could say that 4 times 5 squared, so 4 times 25, would be 100, and that's multiplied by pi, and it's a, so we'd say that it's 100 pi. Now, we've got a hemisphere, okay? So we've got half a sphere. So the kind of the most obvious thing to do would be to just half our answer here. So we're going to half that answer, 100 pi, divided by 2, which gives us 50 pi. Now the only problem with this is that if you think about the surface area for an entire sphere, that's just going to be that curved section all the way around the outside. If you half that, you're only talking about the surface area of that curved part there. You're not including in that, you're not including in that, the base of the hemisphere. You're not including that circle which is touching the bottom. So we're going to have to include the area of that circle on the bottom in our calculation. So in order to do that we're just going to use our basic pi r squared to work out the area of that circle. And so we're going to do pi multiplied by 5 squared which gives us 25 pi. And so our final answer here for the area of our hemisphere would be to take the area of the, the surface area of the curved part of our sphere, add it to the area of that circular base. And so our final answer is going to be 75 pi.